Welcome, welcome to the Flicks, Picks, and the Nip Picks. And I am your humble host, Nove718. And we're going to talk about the Batman vehicle reveal, the Batmobile vehicle review. Um, I'm going to play, we're going to go over this video that I found, but then we're going to go over some pictures as well. And I'm going to put in my editorials because this is not exactly a trailer review. So let us begin. From what I understood, it was going to be a muscle car. It's not going to look like a Batmobile per se. It, everything's going to be very simplified. In the context of that, from glimpses that I've seen, it look cool, but let's just check this video that I don't know if it's an official release. So we're going to check this video out, jump out on, jump back in on the other side of things, and we're going to go over the pitches, and let's just chop it up about the Batmobile. Let's do it. Doing this dark shit, but I'm with it. It's Batman. It's supposed to be dark. Oh, they're gonna have a stand next to the oh, thing trying to rip off for of my man Zach. Oh, these are just stills. I do not like that collar. <laughs> like, like, I don't like it. Very angular. I, I swear this is so awkward. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's not, I mean, I'm not going to lose my mind over it. I mean, I understand what it's supposed to be. I find it very um, fascinating as they give more and more reveals how so much people are excited about this one. But this is nothing like, like even, I mean, well, you got some people coming at uh, Robert Pattinson for certain things that he said about Batman, which was actually in the thing. So they're starting to get some of the backlash. But like how people are taking it in so far, I'm just surprised at the maturity level it's disappointing because it, where was this for um when 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 Zack Snyder was leading the, the helm you know people was focusing on the context of what Matt Reeves is doing right now that I wish you would have focused that there was a context for what Zack Snyder was trying to produce when he was actually working on these films with DC so when I see people complain a lot about what Zach had done it just makes me sit back and go well dag where were you guys I mean when I, when I, I mean where are you guys now that Matt Reeves is making all these reveals and you're just taking this in a whole lot easier than what Zach did um, they're doing a year one y'all got mad at an older Batman that had a dream about how he became Batman and it took you out of the fucking movie and I don't get how a dream sequence about his origin just to let you know that this is his world and they gave it to you in five minutes and you guys said oh they showed the origin again and it was like are you fucking kidding me y'all was nitpicking all the way through and I want to see nitpicking from this so at least I could see it's fair ground and I could tell it's not fair. You guys really had an issue with Zack Snyder for some reason, but now you want to suck him off. I don't get it, but this is about Matt Reeves' joint, so I'm going to jump, focus on this. And my personal depiction is from what he's talked about, what this film was supposed to be, it's looking like that. It's looking like someone put this shit together. But it's also kind of giving you that Arkham look as well, which... I'm not mad at, based on the film that they're 
from what I understand this film is supposed to be. I'm not mad at it. It looks cool. Just the shots of the stuck man on the joint. I don't like what I'm looking at. I don't like them. I don't like the gauntlets too much. It looks cheesy, but then that's kind of the approach they were going for. But at the same time, it's when you see what they show. Um, and the guy, the stunt guy looked a little bit bulkier than um, Robert Pattinson's. Says he looks a lot leaner. And I expected a leaner Batman. That's why I don't know why people was expected a bigger one. That was supposed to be an older Batman after mad years. So this is a different Batman. So I'm expecting him to look a lot leaner. Like, I'm not, I don't know how, I mean, he should put on some masks and some cuts and stuff, but I expected him to be leaner. That said, I also expected that him to put this, look like someone really could have put it together. And eh, it's kind of looking like that, I guess. But when you see him actually in the suit, it looks a lot better in the depiction, in the video. So you got to wait for the filters and the presentation, how it looks with some guy just riding around. It's going to look like some dude riding around in a Fugazi Batman suit. Like, the fuck is that? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't have all the, the markers and the things that the, the environment that's supposed to really give you the vibe of what this Batman is supposed to depict. So I'm giving, like I, give, like, I like to think I'm fair in what I've done before is give this a lot of space to be the movie that it's supposed it's going to present itself to be that said um I'm going to see if I could pull up some stills and see if there's anything that we we could actually look at yeah let's look at some stills matter of fact before we get into the stills let's just go do the video again because I want to play this video one more time Let's cue this up and go. Oh, all right. Let's do that one more again and go. I mean, like I said, it's not really much to see. I think, matter of fact, I might not even have to do the stills because it seems like this is all the, the stills. This is all look like all still shots. Yeah, I might not have to do it that way. got Batman with the cape on. He looks more like Batman here. Is that him standing in the front of the car as well? I'm not mad. I, I like the back of it. On some Knight Rider shit, but like he put some contraptions on the back. Ears look better. I'm hoping I could buy him as Batman more. He just doesn't look like Batman to me. <laughs> but this is who we got, so it's growing on me. The symbol isn't bad. And if people are right saying that's the gun he made it out of, I'm not mad at that. Like, I don't know why that would go over people's head. Like, he actually is a billionaire wearing PJs running around on rooftops with a little kid talking about, like, he's stopping crime. Like, the fuck you expected him to do? He took the death of his parents that serious. I mean, him making the bat symbol out of the pistol is not really too far loss, especially when he has so many trophies in the bat cave. So, again... I mean, he has a big coin and a dinosaur from, like, shit way back when and no one compared, complained about in the comics. And these are comic book uh, fans, quote-unquote, complaining about it. So it's like, I mean, can you guys try to be consistent at some point? But in any event, from what I see, the movie that they're trying to present, it's supposed to be Batman on a, on a low, low budget. And this looks cool. Now it's all about the story that they want to tell. And I hope the story is going to complement everything that they're trying to visually sell to us. I'm still hearing there what I'm seeing in terms of, and it was really more the stills and that collar. That shit is fucking throwing me off. But like, but when they show it in a content, like these are the, 
the presentation they're trying to show and i'm in terms of the presentation i like it it's not as dynamic as and i don't want to have to always compare them to the zack snyder thing but the zack snyder reveal was bigger because we it looked so much more like the comic this not mad at I'm really not mad at it um not exactly it doesn't make me excited about it you know what i'm saying um but i'm definitely looking forward to anything that's comic book movie anything that is batman so with that being said yes the cape just looked cheesy with that fucking collar but he'll be able to do what he never was able to do was in the movies well he kind of did it in the very first one with michael keaton but just to make it drape all the way around over his shoulders over his chest where it's just all you see is cowl and cape and he could disappear in the night and i think he'll be able to do that a lot easier and more effectively with this version of it than he was able to do any other version when the cape kind of was attached or kind of blended into the cowl and he did that more for aesthetic, but I think this is going to be a lot more of a functional Batman. And this is what they were trying to present to us, and I'm cool with it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like what you've seen so far? I mean, it seems like when I gauge people, they seem to like it a lot more than they did when the previous Batman reveals in terms of, like, actor and things like that. I don't see it breaking the internet the way the reveals of Zack Snyder did which goes into what people say they like him about his visual aesthetic um but yeah um I'm interested I'm very much interested in what what, what he's got going I just hope that they tell a good story but this is the same guy that did a lot of other films that like one of my guys had to really tell me that he was a part of that made me go, oh shit, I didn't realize y'all keep forgetting. He had something to do with that. And he was able to really produce ambiance and stories and, and, and could really tell, flesh out a story with characters. So that's what I'm looking forward to. It's the storytelling. That's how Matt Reeves is going to win me over. The visual, I'm not mad at. I mean, he's not, I mean, I won't say he lost me on it. I'm more inclined to say he's won me on it based on the story, but I'm cool with it. It's cool. Like I said, the stuntman shit, but it's the stuntman. But yeah, I, all in the light wasn't really that impressed. But at the same time, like I said, this is supposed to look like a suit that anybody could have practically put together. It's supposed to look a step above cosplay. Damn, a step above damn good cosplay and i've seen some damn good cosplay so yeah that should tell you so in any event let me know what you guys think um you'll be able to see the stills up here and i don't think that i believe the video already has all the stills that's out there but once i log off i'm gonna see if i can find any more stills and post it up and maybe i'll do an add-on to it but in any event this is the end of this video um let me know what you guys think down below let's chop it up have a conversation about it any points i brought up in terms of matt reeves versus zach snyder i may actually make a direct video only on that in terms of as we get to the actual batman film but let me know what you guys think i hear a lot of stories about it's supposed to be referred to as batman vengeance but these are stuff that's in the wind. I'll probably do a video about all the speculations and all the channels that I watch. And you guys should um, go stay tuned. Stay tuned to. And um, maybe we could do some <coughs> videos down the line on speculation. But in any event, again, like, share, subscribe. See you next time. And as always, I have a better outro. Chill. I'm at it. I'm at it.